directional versus non-directional hypothesis. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the directional and the non-directional hypothesis. Let's start. What is a directional hypothesis? Directional hypotheses are those hypotheses where relationship between variables is indicated, identified, or known as positive or negative or greater or less. That is, directional hypotheses are those hypotheses that provides you a direction, that gives you a clear direction. Example number first, the directional hypothesis. Girls perform better than boys. Better than shows the direction predicted. We can say here that the relationship is directional. It is giving us a particular direction that the girls perform better than the boys. That the girls performance is better than the boys. So it is giving us a particular direction. So such hypothesis would be classified as the directional hypothesis. Example number second, directional hypothesis. Among high school students, there is a positive relationship between the student's self-concept and their grade point average. So again, here is a relationship that is word that has been identified, that has been given, that is a positive relationship exists among the high school students between the student's self-concept and their grade point average. So such hypothesis would be classified as a directional hypothesis. Now let's move forward toward the non-directional hypothesis. What are the non-directional hypothesis? As you can see from the picture that there is no certain direction. One is unsure which way or which direction to move. Definition of the non-directional hypothesis. Non-directional hypothesis shows difference or relationship between variables but does not indicate the direction. The non-directional hypothesis gives us an indication that there exists a difference or relationship between particular variables but it does not give us the indication or the direction. Example number first, the non-directional hypothesis. There will be a difference in the performance of girls and boys. But not defining what kind of difference. That difference may be positive or that difference may be negative. So it is giving no direction or no indication of what can be the results, either positive or negative. So that is an example of a non-directional hypothesis. Example number second of the non-directional hypothesis. There is a relationship between the number of hours high school students spend watching TV and their grade point average. There, there exists a relationship but there is no indication, there is no sign of what type of the relationship exists. Whether it is a positive relationship or whether it is a negative relationship. So it would be an example of a non-directional hypothesis. Hope you enjoy this video lesson. Like and subscribe to stay tuned.